Today we're going to look at the application of socks or wedges at our feet to help up the kinetic chain in our body. So what we're going to do here is we're going to explore, you can either do a squat or a lunge, but one of those movements that feels somewhat comfortable to you, but also maybe can use some cleanup with it. And you'll have one foot forward, one foot back. So we'll start off with a lunge here. And then you're just going to go down into your lunge and then come back up. As you're doing this, I want you to reflect and feel. What does it feel like in my hips? What do I feel working? As I go down and I go back up, do I have the ability to maintain equal contact between the, my heel, the base of my big toe, and the base of my pinky toe throughout the entire movement with it? Sometimes just bringing that awareness to that foot and realizing, oh, as I go forward, my heel lifts up, or as I come back, my big toe goes to lift up can be the first step of kind of building that connection and seeing if you just consciously make that change, how that can affect the rest of the chain with it. Sometimes you might need a little bit more help with it. So that's where working on some of the, the mobilization drills for your midfoot can help with that, but then we can take it to that next level of connection and setting your body up for success by applying it while doing those movements. So as we go to do this, we can think about addressing the position of the heel. So if you're one to have more of a locked or lift arch, tend to hang out on the outside of that foot, tend to have tightness in your deep hip externators and backside of your hip with it, then you're gonna put a sock underneath the outside of your heel. The reason for that is that from behind, if you took a picture, your heel might look like, so if this is the inside of my heel, it might be a little bit tipped up like this. So you're more prone to being everything kind of on the outside. So by putting a wedge underneath the outside, it's gonna help kind of balance you out. So I'm gonna put that wedge underneath the outside of my heel, not so much that it makes me fall over, but just that little bit of encouragement. What it's gonna to do to start is that it might actually spin my knee in. So then to make sure my knee stays pointed forward, I'm gonna to have to keep that big toe pressed down while from my hip, I push my knee out a little bit using those glute muscles to help stabilize and keep that knee pointed straight ahead. So then now I'm gonna go again down into that lunge, keeping those hips level and then back up, maintaining equal weight through my heel, my big toe and my pinky toe as I go up and down, keeping that knee pointed forward. Reflect how that feels. Does that feel any easier to do? Do you feel more glutes? Do you feel your arch working? Does it just feel like it's easier to keep those contacts as you're doing it? Then great, that wedge was helpful. If not, you can explore going on the other side. Then we can have the wedge on the inside of that heel. This is typically more the case for somebody that has more of a collapsed arch or a bunion forming or a big toe that likes to kind of direct in with it. So this is gonna help give us a foundation in more of that neutral position, but coming from that other direction. As far as your knee goes, it might roll your knee out, so you'll have to think a little bit more of a knee hug in. If you're doing a squat, you can have a block between your knees. You can also have a band pulling your knee out, so then you can pull in against your knees to kick in that adductor with it. And then we'll do the same thing. Equal pressure between base of big toe, pinky toe, and heel, pressing that big toe down. Hips are level, knees pointed straight ahead, and then I'm gonna come down and then back up. So then reflecting again, how does this feel as I do that? Does it make it feel easier to do that lunge and hit all those points? Some of it with props is about how can we just set you up so that you have to think about it less and just kind of make things happen with it. You can explore a little further and also with the, the heel wedge where it's like, oh, that feels pretty good, but not quite there yet. You can add the prop to be underneath the outside of your toe or the base of your big toe or all three points and just kind of see what feels best for you. Again, taking that little bit of time to explore so that now moving forward, you can just go bam, bam, bam through your movements and get that kind of dynamic full connection through your entire body from your feet all the way up to your hips. And then as you're going up and down, in a sense, you're mobilizing that midfoot, building that arch strength. So then you can go back eventually after uh, a few weeks of working on that, or maybe even sometimes just one set without the socks and then go again and be like, oh, wow. Does that already feel easier and now I don't need those props? So props are tools to have to make it easier, but it's all about eventually graduating it from it and breaking up with them. The last thing to kind of connect and think about is, okay, as I come down, it's kind of working through this weight shift forward. We're trying to get our weight over our midfoot. So you can take it to that next level of, as I go down, thinking about sitting into that hip, can I think about those toes reaching forward and that arch relaxing? And then when I come back up, everything kind of sucking back up. Per everything else, keeping equal contact between your base of your heel, 
base of your pinky toe and the base of your big toe as I go down. But sometimes thinking about that reach through and then that lift up without actually, you know, lifting your toe up, but that lift is more of like a starfish hand or foot sucking the ground up can really help give some dynamicness to that midfoot that helps your deep hip extrorotators and those hip muscles eccentrically lengthen and then contract coming up versus having a shift forward and back or never getting that length and momentum so that it doesn't have a place to contract back from. So give that a shot, knowing each foot might need something a little bit different. And again, using those props, reflecting on yourself for what feels good for you and if you still need them or not, but hopefully that'll help take everything that you're already kind of familiar with doing in your lower body, but then adding that little bit of foot connection can help take it to the next level.